The light at the end of the tunnel was not the jungle I was hoping for. Uh -huh. Instead, I found myself in what looked like an office. With cabinets, desks, and of course, a damn guard. Later, I'd realized that I was in one of the two main buildings of the military base. The building had three floors, hidden secrets, and a few unexpected surprises. Anyway, I headed towards the only exit, which was close to the first floor office I started in. Yeah. Tos kyllä tosi kova kans. In the beginning, I didn't know exactly where I was, but I knew for sure I wasn't outside. Now that I could get a signal, calling the colonel crossed my mind, but I realized I didn't have much to report. Speak of the devil. Son, do you copy? Copy, colonel. For the love of God, where have you been? I thought you were dead. As I said, colonel, there's no signal in the sewers. Give me a sit rep, son. My report. After crossing a mile of smelly, mutant-infested shit streams, fighting thousands of rodents and nearly being torn apart by some shredders, I managed to get out of there, and I'm still in this fucking military base. Don't lose your marbles, son. You have plenty of nighttime, and they don't know your location. Take advantage of this and get the hell out of there. Just don't forget the documents. We need to find out more about Operation Jericho. If I make it out alive, will you write me a recommendation letter? If you make it out, we'll give you a damn purple cross. Over and out. I had no doubt that the colonel worked for the government. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> because the only thing that old bastard did was demand, demand, demand. Mm,
there, right in front of me, was the sick bay. Walking through that door changed everything forever. Uh, it's him. <laughs> It's the prisoner that hit us. <laughs> it turned out that all the guards I knocked out were brought to the sick bay. And some were still there. Freeze! Don't move or I'll shoot! Okay, I surrender. The woman that was aiming at me was the doctor. She, of course, was very pissed off because of the copious amount of work I caused. What a face. What a body. <laughs> <laughs> this girl was smoking hot, and she had a gun aimed straight at my head. At that distance, I couldn't do anything to neutralize her. I had to improvise. I needed something that would cause a non-lethal wound, like a sharp piece of metal. But I had to grab it without making a single step. couldn't use the radio at that time. If I moved, the doctor would have shot me. I had to use anything I had on me that was sharp without moving a muscle. Have you ever had a gun pointed at you? Your adrenaline skyrockets. You react on instinct. Everything happened so fast that the doctor had no time to react. In one swift movement, I took the wire, looked deep within the doctor's eyes, and... I stuck it in my thigh. What the hell did you just do? I just hurt myself. Are you nuts or what? <laughs> now you can't shoot me. What do you mean? You just made it easier for me. Oops. According to the degree on your wall, you're a doctor. The Hippocratic Oath you <laughs> took as a doctor forces you to aid your patients and also forces you to cause patients no harm. I've been injured in a sick bay. Your sick bay. Therefore, I'm now your patient. <laughs> and I'm forced to assist you. You bastard! Yeah, been called that plenty of times. By the way, I'm bleeding. <laughs> Fine. I'll heal you. Then you get the hell out of here. You're done. It's no longer bleeding. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. By the way... <laughs> hey, what was that for? That's for all the extra hours. Uh. I'm working because of you. It's just as well that you didn't kill anyone. Kill someone? Me? Do I look like an assassin? After arguing for a while, the doctor and I reached an understanding. I would not kill anyone, and she would help me escape. You'll find my access card in my jacket. There are first aid kits in the closet. Take some. If you shoot someone, use them so they don't bleed to death. <laughs> My rack! You couldn't just take the card from the pocket. It's kill or be killed. <laughs> Doctor, it hurts. Don't speak, Mike. You have a broken jaw. Try to get some sleep. Uh, uh, 
Austin Powers äh, tilanne. If I were an assassin and didn't promise the doctor I wouldn't murder <laughs> anyone. So if I shot someone, I had to use a first aid kit to heal them before they bled to death. Of course not. I'm not an assassin. The gun I found was empty, but it had a ten bullet magazine. So I loaded it up with any bullets I found. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Hi, friend. How's that escape going? Still alive and free. So far. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Katsala, taking some pictures of a bunch of military trucks. There was too much security. They were obviously hiding something. I couldn't clearly see what they were loading, so I got closer. Turns out, I got too close. Yeah. Next thing you know, I was surrounded by a bunch of pricks aiming rifles at my head. Did you at least manage to see what they were loading? Sure did, but I was disappointed. What did you see? Concrete. Concrete? Are you kidding? Two huge rectangular concrete blocks. Each could barely fit into a truck. You were imprisoned for a piece of concrete? Fuck, man. I'd be disappointed too. Too much security for something so mundane. But enough about me. You should get back to your escape, my friend.
The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium of coded numbers. It also had a map, so those numbers could be the coordinates of attack routes, or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded, but anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found more documents. They look like... a list of coordinates. Coordinates? Of what? This document is encoded as well. I don't know what the coordinates are for. Huh. They could be strike targets. Those bastards could be planning to attack us. This is Jesse Fox. Over. This is the doctor. Over. Oh. What? Doctor? But how? How is the escape going? Just fine. Trying to find a way out of this building. Well, my access card won't work. It's only clearance level two. Leaving the building requires level three clearance. Where would I find that? The officers would have them. Their offices are on the third floor. Wow. Thanks for the help. I didn't know you cared about me. What I care about is that you leave ASAP so I stop getting so many patients. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? My name is Doctor. Over and out. I answered the call before leaving. Colonel? Fox, do you have what you need to leave? Not yet, Colonel, but a contact told me where to find an access card. A contact? Yes, a doctor. A doctor? Give me a description. She is smoking hot. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake, control your hormones, son. We're in the middle of a very serious operation. Listen, Colonel, make no mistake. I'm not in any operation of yours. Nor am I any of your soldiers. I'm only trying to escape from this damn place. Damn it, Jess. Don't you realize this isn't an escape, son? You must realize Operation Jericho could end up with countless casualties. And it's your moral duty as a citizen to prevent it. Prevent it? Me? Is that a joke? Yes, you. Search every damn office in that building. For any information you can prevent that damn plan. Over and out.
Ahaa. Put putella voi tallentaa. Mä en tiennytkään, että potalla voi <laughs> miksi eivätä. I noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. They seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop. Uh -huh. Noticed a few abandoned crates that were thirsty for some punch. They seemed easy to reach. That is, until the containers started to drop. defeated. This is Jesse Fox. Over. Doctor here. Hey, Jesse, I need a small favor. Uh, favor? Of course. The guards you injured on the first floor just keep coming in. Can you find a less vicious way to handle them? <laughs> Not that I care, per se, but I'm getting a little overwhelmed here. Oh. Sorry, Doc. You can count on me. You're drooling. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. Her voice was so damn sexy. Is my voice not feminine enough for you? <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, it's girly, of course, but... Oh, shut up. Continue your story. <laughs> Mietinkin, että missä vaiheessa tyttöistä vaan alkaa niinku sillä että sillä menee hermot.
I climbed down into a pokey little room that seemed to be stocked with a lot of chemicals. I could brew up some chloroform to put the guards to sleep and score points with the doctor. <laughs> Hold on. You have expertise in chemistry? Chemistry's not that hard. You just have to mix the ingredients correctly. guard with his back turned was listening to music. It was the perfect chance to test out the chloroform. I just needed to sneak up and put him to sleep. I wonder what this smells like. <laughs> what this smells like? Hold on, are you telling me that you sniffed the chloroform? That you yourself made for the purpose of knocking people out? Yes. <laughs> Why didn't you douse a handkerchief and cover the victim's face, like how everyone does? My mind was cloudy at the time, maybe due to the fumes <laughs> from mixing those chemicals. As for pouring the chloroform on a handkerchief, I figured it out later. It smells <laughs> <laughs> Doctor? What's the meaning of this? Isn't it obvious? You're my prisoner. What? Untie me! Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, holy fuck. Still want me to untie you? Don't untie me. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> oh, doctor. Oh, doctor. <laughs> hey, Mike. This guy's talking in his sleep. He's asking for a doctor. Must be a nightmare about a previous injury. Soldiers with PTSD get him all the time. He must have been through some shit, poor bastard. I don't know, Mike. Look down. What the fuck? He's harder than whiskey. <laughs> Well, whatever. We're close to the cells. Let's get him locked up. Fuck, Mike. He's waking up.
Thermal sensor. Those thermal sensors had a detection angle of 90 degrees, and would sense the heat of my body, like the Predator. They obviously wouldn't detect through the tall brown boxes in the facility, so I could hide from them like how I've been sneaking around the guards. But the containers weren't everywhere. Any wide open areas were a problem. That's when I thought to call the Colonel, where I'd learn a way to trick the sensors. Colonel, do you read me? Loud and clear, Fox. I'm on the third floor. This is where the offices should be. Search for more files. We need more intel about the attack. That's not going to be easy. In the middle of the night, those offices should be empty. Haven't seen anyone yet, but there's a thermal sensor. I can't proceed without setting it off. Do you have any ideas? In the army, we use insulating suits to conceal our body temperatures. I knew better than to punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate and could tear. Bad news, no punches while wearing the suit. Good news. Scoring more points with the doctor. The third file of Operation Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Cantor province with exact coordinates, an ambush plan, and a picture of the colonel with his name under it. Apparently their plan was to kidnap the colonel without leaving a trace. 
The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium of coded numbers. It also had a map, so those numbers could be the coordinates of attack routes, or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was... Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? Colonel, I discovered a third document. Good job, son. What's on it? Let me take a look at it. Interesting. What was your name? Colonel Alan Harris. Why do you ask? Because your name is written here. Don't pull my leg, son. I'm serious, Colonel. It's right here. Damn. This means that they need me for their plan. Oh. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in the outskirts of Katsala. Jesse here. Over. In the next corridor, I ran into... Two hundred fifty sheep. Uh huh. Pelin kehitteellä on kyllä melkoinen huumanteju ollut. Jesus, you scared me. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't think anyone was up here. Yeah, me neither. My name's Mike, and you are? I'm Mike, maintenance. I had the day off today, but our damn officer kept me here the whole night fixing stuff. What an asshole. I'm gonna kick his ass so hard, <laughs> he'll drop his level three access card and be stuck in this building. Where's his office? Really? 
Wow! It's right behind you. That's the door. The one with the lasers. Yep. Let me guess. Deadly lasers. Yep. Disintegrate you on contact. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Well, maybe another time then. Hold on. If we generate a small power surge in the right circuit, those lasers will shut down. Great. Let's do it. I'll need at least 12 batteries. We keep them in the boxes on this floor. You get the batteries. I'll here are the batteries. The Good. Hand them over. I'm ready here. Just got to connect them to this wire and... Woohoo! Lasers deactivated? Nope. Shock my hands. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's try this wire instead. Okay. Bye, lasers. It's gonna take a while to fix them, but no regrets. Totally worth it. Uh -huh. Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. Don't sweat it, Mike. We're even. I was finally in front of the office door. On the other side, I could hear someone talking on the phone. Yes? I see. Are you sure about that? Damn! That's high treason! No, that won't be necessary. I'll deal with it personally. That was the officer with the access card I needed. But he was leaving through the other door, and the card had to be on him. What was he talking about? Who was the traitor? It wasn't long before I found out my answers. I answered the call before leaving. Hey Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. It looks like you're in some big shit, pal. I've been listening to some radio comms and... Does the doctor sound familiar to you? Fuck yes. Why? Because I heard that someone is going to arrest him for treason. Damn it. Team. I have to stop them. Careful, Fox. Don't panic. This shot could be a trap. Robert's call made my head spin. I left the office as fast as I could. Fast in Vermont. Don. Asking Don. Not by my I shot a guard. I couldn't let him die. I promised it to the doctor. I had to heal him before bleeding to death. So I got close, and I used one of my first aid kits. Oh. There they were. Robert was right. Those bastards were going to arrest their own doctor. Sons of bitches. I wasn't going to let it happen. As I got close, I could hear shouting from inside. Then I remembered what Robert told me about being careful. 
I held back my urge to kill and listened to the conversation. And why did you give him your access card? I didn't. He took it from my jacket. But you did nothing to stop him! This is high treason! You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman! So, Dr. Hoffman? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised, Mr. Fox. You managed to remember a surname. <laughs> well, <laughs> I had a neighbor beep. named Hoffman. Big German man. Very hairy. He won the lottery and was planning to retire, but his gonorrhea had other plans. Uh -huh. Fascinating. Let's return to the story, please. Sure. Where was I? This is high treason. You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman. Good. Just testing if you were listening. You want a doctor that has no idea how to fight? Stop a man that knocked out all your guards? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you really that stupid? Don't you dare insult my intelligence. I know you gave him medical attention. How many wounded have you healed, Lieutenant? I'll tell you, none. Why? Because your job is to be a paper-pushing butter bar. Mine, on the other hand, is to heal and attend. To anyone who needs it, even if that person killed my family. Aiding the enemy in this base is treason. My oath has no restrictions on who I must heal. You want to arrest me? Then tell me, Lieutenant. Who is going to save the lives of your soldiers mm -hmm. if I'm in a cell? You? A man so incompetent that a prisoner is running circles around him? How dare you! Now stop pestering me and get the hell out of my sick bay! This isn't the end, Doctor. You're on thin ice. Man, she's one badass doctor. Shit, they're coming out. And off he went, taking the level 3 card with him. I needed that card if I wanted to get out of this building. But before that, I had to check if the doctor was okay. Doctor, are you <laughs> I didn't right? believe that, dude. Why do you ask? I found out you were going to be arrested. So I ran here to help, but I heard people shouting, and I saw those men walking out. That's Lieutenant Marcuson. All bark and no brain. I can't stand that, moron. Really? I couldn't tell. But once he speaks to General Lex, I'll have some serious problems. You've dragged me into quite a mess. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to cause you trouble. Yeah, I know. Anyway, thanks for worrying about me. It's what I do. That Marcuson has a level 3 card on him. I'll understand if I see him in my sick bay later. <laughs> you read my mind. See you around, Doc. Hang on. Wait, what? <laughs> Ouch! Deja vu! What the hell were you doing? I was leaning in for a hug. With your eyes closed? Uh -huh. And you said kiss out loud. Sorry, let's never speak of this again. <laughs> Fine by me. You look tired. Take these first aid kits. Thanks, Doctor. Save some for Lieutenant Marcuson. Uh -huh. If you shoot him, don't let him bleed to death. I'll be executed as an accomplice if he dies. Now go. Catch him before he exits the building. No. Well, well, well. If it isn't the slippery, cowardly pet of that traitorous bitch. What's up? Is your conjugal visit over? <laughs> I'm in charge of enforcing curfew, and only I can leave from here. Problem with a building this large? There are too many hideouts for a mutt like you. So? Now it's just you and us, mutt. You can't run, and you can't hide. Mm -hmm. You're a tough little mongrel, aren't you? 
I wonder if old dogs can learn new tricks. Let's see you chew your way through lasers. Boss defeated. Finish this once and for all. Don't even think about it, bastard. Death would be too good for you. <laughs> I'm going to keep you alive. And you'll lie here on the ground until someone finds you. Everyone will know that a single prisoner defeated you. The best part? You'll be severely injured. I wonder how it'll feel being the patient of a woman you called a traitor. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> It wasn't wise to use weapons there. I tried to open the door with the level 3 card, but the exit also had a biometric scanner, which needed to scan your retina and your fingerprints. In other words, only authorized people could open that door, and I was not one of them. I could finally breathe some fresh air. The ground was untended. Uneven grass covered the soil. And the jungle was relentless. Everything was dark, save for a light above the door. Alright, that was this.